Hey guys, welcome to the Being Beautifully Honest channel and podcast. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And let's just get into this conversation. I know a lot of people may be tired of hearing about this Chris Rock and Will Smith saga. But to be honest with you, even though I am a little bit tired of hearing about it, and sometimes I feel tired even discussing it when I'm talking about it with people myself, it really isn't going anywhere anytime soon. And no, I don't believe that Will Smith is canceled and that he's done for good. And no, I don't believe that Chris Rock is completely damaged in terms of his ego and definitely, you know, the humiliation for good either. But I'm not going to deny that that has been a humiliating experience and There are the conspiracy theorists who feel that this might have been some type of humiliation ritual or it was planned in some way and all these different things. I'm I'm not going to really go there at all. But what I am here to talk about is just one, no, I'm not married to a celebrity and I never would want to be and I never would even want to be a celebrity because... I have my thoughts on that life and lifestyle, and I may do another conversation talking about that as well. But being someone who is married and has been married to my husband for many years, I just see things in a different perspective as a lot of people are taking this situation and putting a spin on it about black men protecting black women. And, and some of the other things about alopecia, which I just, I don't subscribe to that either because I don't believe that Will Smith is, you know, thinking about really protecting black women overall, even though he tried to make it about that when he gave his Oscars acceptance speech. I also just have my thoughts on how would I react If I was in a situation where my husband was being hot tempered, even if it was because of me, how would I want him to react? How would I want him to behave? Would I want him to jeopardize his his livelihood, our livelihood, our lifestyle for the sake of something that, yeah, may have stung or hurt me a little bit at the moment, but what are the consequences of his actions if he were to take it there and go there? So Courtney B. Vance, he's an actor and he's also married to the amazing Angela Bassett. He talked about this and some people may say, well, he wasn't trying to throw shade at Will Smith. I won't say he was trying to throw shade at Will Smith, but I do believe that he was trying to make this a teachable moment. And that is that is all I've really been trying to do with regards to this situation because yeah you know there are people who've made the funny videos the salacious videos and all of those different things everybody has their viewpoint on it and anyone can put their little spin on it but me being a spouse being a wife how would i want my husband to behave in a situation and i just don't feel that jada did what she should have done in that moment And I'm not blaming her for her husband's actions because she is a human being and she didn't put a gun to his head and make him get up and do what he did. He chose to do it even if she loved it, liked it, laughed at it, agreed with it. He did it. He was the one that made, you know, the decision and and the action. And so he's reaping the consequences of that action. But Courtney B. Vance, he was on The Breakfast Club and he talked about a time when he had to encourage his wife, Angela Bassett, to just keep walking. So he talked about how they were faced with a situation where she considered responding to a stranger who approached them in a baggage claim at an airport. He says the fan wanted an autograph. I said, it's not appropriate right now. Please give us our privacy. If you recognize us, then others will and it'll be on. The actor said that the fan then cussed Angela out and tried to provoke her as she continued to follow the couple at the airport. I said, Angie, just keep walking, baby. Just keep walking. We're going to our car. Just keep walking. And so the fan said, I never like your movies anyway. (laughs) Okay, but you wanted an autograph. All right. But anyway, 
So he said that the fan wanted to provoke her to turn around and get a reaction out of her, but he managed to persuade his wife otherwise. And so he said, you have to understand the situation and be able to sometimes know when it's time to step up and say, don't you dare. And sometimes you just got to walk away. What we don't want to see is Angela Bassett pimp slapping anybody. You ain't getting a reaction. We're not going down like that. We work too hard for an incident that's just going to be folklore in our mind. And so that's what I wanted to talk about. Because when I discussed this situation previously, I talked about a situation, and this actually happened a couple of years ago. My husband, he's a military vet. He has also worked in contracting. He's been in war zones, Iraq, Afghanistan, Kuwait. He has seen a lot, and I'm quite sure he's seen a lot of things that he doesn't even discuss with me just simply because he never wanted me to really worry too much and also just trying to be that brave, strong man. So we're all human beings, and we all have a breaking point. All of us. None of us are perfect. And there was a situation where, (laughs) I don't know why he did it, but we were in the car. This guy, it was a white guy. He was... I don't know how old he was, but to be honest with you, he looked like an older kid. So I'm thinking maybe late high school years, but he also could have been older than that. I'm just assuming. But he just looked like some brat who was driving his mom's car, mom and dad's car, and and just acting stupid. So the person was behind us and the person flew around onto the side of us. We were in two lanes and this was not on a highway or anything like that. And the person motioned for my husband to roll his window down. So he did on the passenger side. I was actually in the back seat because at the time, the passenger seat seat belt, my one of my husband's dogs had chewed on it. So we were in the process of waiting for the dealership to get the replacement seat belt in. So I sat in the back seat with my seat belt on. So I don't know. Anyway, the guy said something like you need to learn how to drive and he called him the n-word that triggered my husband so my husband in turn (laughs) was like oh yeah you want you know he said a few choice words and so my husband is getting behind the guy and he's trying to get to get this guy to pull over so that they can deal with the situation with hands and i'm screaming yelling in the back seat Baby, it's not worth it. Let's go. We were, I think we were going to Lowe's or one of those home improvement stores. Um, Don't remember which day of the week it was. I believe it was a Saturday. But I'm yelling, screaming, baby, it's not worth it. But he's like whipping in and out trying to get to the guy. And then he finally listens to me and he apologizes. He calms down. The PTSD was triggered. And I said, let's just go home. I didn't even want to go to the store at that time because this was a serious situation. And especially these days in cars, you don't know what people are capable of. That guy could have just pulled out a gun and shot and blown my husband's head off. You just never know. So I'm yelling, screaming, ignore the bastard. I was like, what? Because even when he was putting the window down, I'm like, why are you doing that? Just keep driving. Ignore. Ignore this person. So anyway, I'm saying that and sharing that situation because as my husband's wife, as his spouse, it's not just his job to protect to protect me. It's also my duty to protect him. We're in this together. It's not 50-50, it's 100-100. And that's why a lot of people really shouldn't even be in marriage or even be thinking about being in marriage is because a lot of people just don't even really know what it's like to be married to someone for better or for worse. And I'm not talking about abusive situations, financial abuse, emotional abuse, physical abuse, definitely. And, you know, all of those things. But I'm just talking about in terms of the good and the bad and, you know, all of those things. It's not always roses and champagne and and trips and, and, you know, dinners out and all of that type of stuff. Yeah, those things happen. But life is not easy. And with the situation with Will and Jada, I'm sorry. I don't feel that the juice was worth the squeeze. I just don't believe that that situation warranted 
the reaction that Will Smith had. And then on one of the biggest nights of his life, because obviously he was expecting to win, wanted to win, ignore. So in that moment, as Will Smith's wife, even if Jada was pissed off by what Chris Rock said, that was Will Smith's night. That was his night. And it became all about her. And yeah, people can say, well, Chris Rock started it when he made the joke. Honestly, as that being Will Smith's night, she should have just said, you know what? I'm going to go to the bathroom for a moment. Baby, come with me if she wanted him to be with her. And go and cool off and come back. And then if you wanted to speak on that situation when you won, that would have been the opportunity he could have addressed it then in his speech versus allowing the slap to speak for him and then to sit in a chair and say, keep my wife's name out your MF and mouth. Like, it's just ridiculous. That was one of the biggest nights of his life. And you threw it away even though you won. This is what people were talking about more than the Oscar win or the Oscar speech, which in my opinion, I feel was disingenuous. That is my opinion. So I just believe that Jada, as many, you know, people may disagree with me and say, well, Jada, she is this black woman. How could you say this? It was his job to protect her. Chris Rock attacked her. Chris Rock made a joke. Was it in poor taste? Possibly. But he didn't make a joke about her her private area he didn't make a joke like Jada Pinkett Smith is an actress the G.I. Jane movie that Demi Moore played in years ago it was a great movie if Jada Pinkett Smith was just his wife and she was not an actress then maybe some people could say ah no that was dirty and low he just made the joke because she had a shaved head and so now you're calling her G.I. Jane possibly but because she's an actress and she's been in The Matrix, she's been in um, Set It Off, uh, you know, a few different movies, Woo. <laughs> I never watched that one. Anyway, she could have put her feelings to the side for the moment and allowed Will, because he laughed, say, you know what, Will, eh. I don't like that joke that he did. Can you just come with me to the bathroom real quick? Let's go to the green room or wherever, you know, wherever the celebrities go when they're not sitting in their seats. They had a front row seat. So obviously, I believe he knew, felt in his heart that he was going to win for the role that he played in King Richard. So it became all about her. As the wife of this man who was being supposed to be celebrated that night, she should have just put her feelings to the side for the moment. And I'm not saying that she shouldn't care. We can't tell anyone what they shouldn't be hurt by. So I'm not here to say that she should not have felt hurt by the joke that Chris Rock said. But what I am saying that is for that for that time being, for that moment in time, they could have just walked away for a moment, came back to their seats, Will would win, he would go up to the stage, do the Oscar speech, and hey, if you chose to address Chris Rock in that speech at that time, he probably would have had standing ovations across the board for the speech that he gave. And then it would have made Chris Rock look like the asshole. But right now, he's looking like the asshole. And yeah, there are people who don't agree with what Chris Rock did, and they feel that he is and always was an ass. But more people are on the side of Chris Rock now because of the route that Will Smith chose to take and Jada being her husband's better half, you know, like the Bible calls the wife to the husband, the help meet, she should have been helpful to him in that moment and say, you know what, I'm, 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 I'm pissed off by what Chris Rock said. Baby, I love you. Can you just come with me? Let me just tell you how I'm feeling right now. Go allow him to show you love in that moment, support you, whatever. Then come back, have your seats, and then get your win. Get up on the stage and give your speech. That's the way it should have been handled. So Courtney B. Vance talking about this situation, I truly believe that, yeah, he definitely was calling Will Smith out, but not doing it in a direct way. And that is an amazing way to do it. But that was what I read beneath the you know in between the lines beneath the surface 
that is what he meant. Not everything is worth a response, even if it seems egregious. Not everything is worth a response at that time. Not saying you could never respond to it, but at that time, that was inappropriate. And so I loved how Courtney B. Vance shared that story of how sometimes people can be out of pocket, but it it is upon you on how you respond to the situation. It's not about what the other person did at that time because there's only really so much justification that you can do in a situation like that. And yeah, they're gonna be the, you know, the people that just are, no matter what, going to agree with what Will Smith did. And everyone has the right to their opinion, but opinion and facts and truth are completely different. And the fact of the matter is he was wrong. That wasn't the way to respond to it. And it definitely was not the time at all. So anyway, I really would love to know what you all think about this so you can leave your thoughts for me in the comment section. But kudos to Courtney B. Vance for making sure that Angela Bassett, even though he felt like she had the opportunity and the propensity to react when this woman is calling her the B word because they decided that right now wasn't a good time for them to give autographs. It, it's like, yeah, can you imagine if she responded how we would have looked? And yeah, some people would have understood, but it's possible that the response <laughs> to this woman was not going to be a pretty one. So those are just my thoughts. You can let me know yours. And until the next time, I'm just being beautifully honest.